Hey, what up? It's Ty1822 here to review Impact Wrestling. So, you know, it's the wedding tonight between Brooke Hogan and Bully Ray. So, it show, you know, Ray backstage with Spike Dudley and uh, Tommy Dreamer. And I was surprised that Bully Ray was able to call him Spike. Because, you know, in TNA, he went by Brother Run and WWE owns the name Spike. Dougie. So maybe TNA and WWE had a deal a long time ago. I had no idea. But he called him Spike. And he never used the name Spike in TNA wrestling. Jeff Hardy comes out. You know, Jeff Hardy, you know, celebrate with the fans. You know, he got a match against Daniels next week for his World Heavyweight Championship. You got Daniels and Cass coming out making fun of Jeff Hardy. Daniels and Cass is the most entertaining tag team in professional wrestling today. So. You know, they kept talking, and, and you know, Daniel said, I'm going to beat you. And Jeff Hardy said, let's fight now. Jeff Hardy attacked both guys. Then Kaz and Daniel attacked Jeff Hardy back. Then James Storm came out, and he got a microphone and said, let's have a tag team match right now. Daniel and Kaz versus James Storm and Jeff Hardy. It was a good match. Jeff Hardy and James Storm wins. TNA gut check. Jay Bradley and Brian Cage. Now, last week, these guys had a, you know, a solid match. Brian Cage didn't get a contract. I like this guy, and I hope Tanny sign him someday. Jay Bradley got himself a contract, and I like this guy also. Christian York versus my man, Kenny Kane, man. Kenny Kane is so damn entertaining. Kenny Kane get the victory. Kenny Kane is a future world heavyweight champion. I mean, the guy that good. You know, Bully Ray talking this thing, like, I had your back, you know, since last year. And, you know, Bully Ray is trying to get Sting to talk to Hulk Hogan to come down the aisle with Brooke Hogan for the wedding tonight. Sting told Bully Ray, I will do it because you've done a lot for me lately. Gal come versus Velvet Sky. Velvet Sky gets victory. It was an average knockout match. I mean, of course, it involved Velvet Sky. Great as a work as Gal come is. You can't really pull out a great match with Velvet Sky. But, of course, Velvet Sky is still fine at the end of the day. Robert Rue and Austin Aries comes out. You know, they said they had Jet the Wedding. Austin Aries, Robert Rue, looking like a tag team now, man. They are so damn entertaining. Robert Rue, Aries saying, us two been world champions, getting no respect at all. TNA was a better company when we, you know, had championships. And Robert Rue was like, you know what? I was the longest TNA World Heavyweight Champion ever. Then Aries like, yeah, and I beat that guy too. It was so damn funny, man, how Aries got on camera and said, yeah, I beat Rob, you know, for the World Heavyweight Championship. Then you got Chavo or Hernandez comes out. They talk about how they are the champions. They are better. Then they attack both guys. Uh, Hernandez about to put off Aries in his finishing move, but Rob Rue stopped it, and Rob Rue and Aries leaves the ring. Now let's get to the wedding. Very unexpected during this wedding. Ho Hogan did uh, come out. That's not the part where I'm talking about unexpected. Because y'all be like, what the hell he talking about? He called Ho Hogan unexpected coming out <laughs> through the aisle with Brooke. So, you know, Tad, you know, said, it's getting hot in here. Tad took off his suit. He wearing the Aces and Eights vest. The Aces and Eights comes out, attacks Ho Hogan, attacks Bully Ray, Mike Knox, and other guy in the mask. Got Brooke Hogan. She's screaming, going crazy. Good job, Tanny, for swerving us. Everybody thought it was Jeff Jarrett or uh, Eric Bischoff. It was Taz. Now, I'm not saying, uh, you know, Taz is the right guy for it, but at least it was something unexpected. And now, since Taz with Aces and Eights, Taz won't be on commentary anymore. I mean, Aces and Eights, you know, it never will be a big, big name in the group anyway, because there's no big superstars out there in, in wrestling right now that will make us say, oh, shit. But, you know, Taz is somebody we do know, so I understand it. So, you know, it's, it's cool that Taz behind Ace of the Eight. Maybe this will do something for Taz, because Taz's been on commentary for too goddamn long. Maybe it's time for Taz to get back in a character role and not ban on commentary, because I'm not the biggest fan of Taz on commentary, but big, big up to TNA for swerving us again, TNA is very good at swerving people, man, you, it, I mean, you really, you really can't say, yo, they are predicted by TNA, like, they always swerving people, good job TNA, and tonight, Impact Wrestling, it was an okay show, so don't forget, hit the subscribe button, I'm out, peace.